I'm actually curious if they used AI to write the song lyrics as well. I would bet money that not an actual person wrote this, that they used an entire AI song generator to generate this song, and this is what it came up with. Guess who's back? Back, 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 back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? YouTube, it's your boy Shakes B. Keeping it 100. Y'all already know how we do here, man. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button, click that post notification bell, make sure to like, share, and comment down below. Right now, we're going to jump into a reaction. This is a donation request. I'm a subscriber, my friend. Thank you so much for the generous donation, all the love and support that you showed the channel, and everything that you've done to help with the different initiatives that we do have in place here. Now, those that are familiar with the channel know that this portion of the channel is called Keeping It 100. I keep it 100 in all of my reactions. I don't watch, listen to anything. I just kind of cue it up. Don't do background homework research. Cue it up, press record, press play. Here we are. Now, with the history that I have with Angelina Jordan and how familiar I am with Angelina Jordan, her community, her followers and supporters, as well as her releases, I know what i'm reacting to but i've never listened to what i'm reacting to if that makes any sense i know that this is a song and i believe correct me if i'm wrong but you guys are the all seeing and all knowing angelina jordan never wrote this angelina jordan never sang this this is a song that a very popular channel that does a lot of angelina jordan content kaleidoscope rmx did an ai generated song with an angelina jordan voice so I'm going to go on the assumption of their lyrics. Now, I'm not going to formulate opinions prior to jumping into this, but being a person of the industry on both sides, as far as like my whole family being in rock, playing instruments and that kind of recording, I don't like AI. I don't like the artificial intelligence. I don't like the... Um, engineering that goes into today's music um, I'm old school in the sense that like if you hear a live performance it's not supposed to be perfect you're supposed to hear the little subtle imperfections obviously the mix and master has to be good and you got to be able to hear it but if a band member makes a slight mistake do you know how many records we've all listened to hundreds of times and for some of you like from the 60s 70s and 80s maybe thousands of times where there's imperfections in the songs but you're just so familiar to it you're not going to pick up on it i don't like the new generations of music for the sense that it polishes it up and it cleans it up a little bit too much humans aren't supposed to be perfect we're supposed to make mistakes you're supposed to make the mistakes learn from your mistakes and blah 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 so when it comes to being an artist in the industry I also have a little bit of an issue with it because I write and record my own um, my own material. I come from a family and a whole bunch of friends and a giant circle of people who do this. And if I make a mistake, you re-record it. You're not like so AI generation. Uh, I'm not a fan of. Um, I'm not going to judge this. It could be a phenomenal song. It could be written very very well and stuff like that. But I don't know. I'm on the fence on this. I'm not, uh, so I'm really, ke I'm keeping an open mind here. It might look like I'm going into this hating, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm not afraid to give my constructive criticism. So without further ado, hesitation and all that good stuff, an AI Angelina Jordan. That just sounds wrong in itself, no? Come on, guys. She's not a. She hasn't hit superstardom yet. Just pay for the feature and get her to sing the song. Kaleidoscope, RMX, Angelina Jordan. How to move on? Let's go. And I will be honest. If I like it, I'm going to explain. Like I'm. I'm. Shut up. In the silence, I search for my voice. The shadows play. Yeah, so right off the bat, you know that it's AI generated. I've played played around and tinkered with the the AI gen music making sites, and 
it always has that really tinny sound to the vocals like um auto tune on steroids um let's bring it back I'm, i i i will talk but i will bring it back if this is a little bit of a longer reaction than most are used to i definitely do apologize but like wait we're here for the reaction essentially when i talk during my reactions it's me thinking out loud um just in front of the camera but i'll bring it back for you guys in the silence, I search for my voice The shadows play, I don't know who I am A distant echo, a forgotten dream Walking alone, the sun goes down it's actually written very well and it's presented really well and it's really catchy just take angelina jordan's name off of the title and it'll probably be better because she doesn't use autotune a forgotten dream walking along the sun goes down lights are shining but there's no peace I don't know the lyrics to the song. I'm just reading them and kind of singing along. It's at a tempo where it's slow enough that you can kind of sing along with it. And I like I love the kind of melancholy style to it where it's just vocals and subtle instruments. Nothing overbearing thus far. I'm no reflection. Um, and the auto tune is sort of working like an instrument in itself, kind of harmonizing along with the piano and the the synths that are in the song. The lights are shining, but there's no peace. I'm no reflection. I'm I'm just not a fan of the verses. The verses just sound so computered. Like the chorus sounded so beautiful. The melody that it was in and the harmonies and just the the depth of the the vocals. But I'm not a fan of this part. Let it go, the happiness. It also has that sound like it's maxing out in the EQ. The gentle laughter used to be here It's not my faith, it's not my path I'm actually curious if they used AI to write the song lyrics as well. I would bet money that not an actual person wrote this, that they used an entire AI song generator to generate this song. And this is what it came up with. Top to bottom. Maybe I lost the way to a dream. Something I seek and want to find 
Something I long for Something that is me Something that is me It's actually really good It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be I'm not even kidding I know I, I, it sounded like I sounded critical I know that that's how it sounded And I came across like a dick There you have it Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, that was How to Move On, Kaleidoscope, RMX, AI-generated song, AI song, AI song. There is no songwriter, it's an AI songwriter, it's an AI-generated song in the voice, sort of, of Angelina Jordan, no no offense to the you computer, um, but Angelina Jordan's voice is better, um... You can clearly hear and see right here why the music industry is uh, scared of AI and what AI can do. You can also understand why artists are scared of AI and what AI artists can do. Because now that there are things to create these songs, you just need puppets to stand on stage and lip sync the songs that the AI generators generate. However, being a person in the industry who's owned record labels, managed artists, and done that kind of stuff, who's being a person of the industry that's worked with artists, managed artists, owned a record label, worked with rec record labels, worked as an A&R, I would be pitching this song to actual singers who are on the come up, like <clears throat> Angelina Jordan, and pay her for a feature. Give her her price. And who knows, maybe you have a hit and you don't need AI to generate anything and you can get Angelina Jordan to generate your streams. I would, I like this song. It's catchy. Um, but I'm not a fan of Lil Wayne for that, T-Pain, for that exact reason. If you have talent, turn off the auto-tune, turn off the computer and show me your talent. Hey, you don't have to be the songwriter. Um, there's a lot of artists that I think have incredible talents to perform and to convey the message of the songwriter. You don't have to be the songwriter for me to be a fan of you because you can do things that vocally that I can't do. However, computers can do a billion things that we all can't do daily. Why put songwriting and music and stuff like that in the mix? And again, that's not me being critical to Kaleidoscope. Congrats to you. Hats off to you for playing around. It is the new age, and I'm an artist in the new age, but I'm old school. Um, I guess you just can't teach this old dog new tricks, but Kaleidoscope, if I were you, you got a hit on your hands, just not an AI-generated hit. Pitch this to an artist on the come up. Get them to perform this for you. Shoot a music video. And that's the way that I would go about doing it. But hey, who am I? I'm just a guy sitting in a chair doing reaction videos. YouTube, y'all already know what it is at this point, man. Y'all know Wado over here. I keep it 100. I keep it absolutely 100%. But y'all, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Click that post notification bell. Make sure to like, share, and comment down below. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know songs, artists, things you want me to react to. I got you, but I will put it on the list. I say it all the time because it's true. Everything we react to on this channel is what you guys requested, so keep on requesting, and it will keep on reacting to your request. As always, in the description is the link to what we're reacting to. I'm not even going to ask you guys if you like it. Just click that link, and please make sure to go subscribe over to Kaleidoscope's channel. Whether you like this or not, there is so much Angelina Jordan content on that channel that there is zero excuse or reason why any angelina jordan supporter or fo supporter or follower should not be subscribed to that channel you buy an album out of the 2013 out of the 10 12 20 songs on the album every single song on that album might not necessarily be your favorite this should be no exception for every 20 songs that someone drops maybe you don't like a couple but you're going to like the rest. Go on, go check out their channel. I'm sure you're going to love it. To my subscriber, my friend, thank you so much for the generous donation again. God bless y'all. It's your boy, Shakespeare, keeping it 100. And I'm out. Peace.